is Jeff with Ryan Bad Ryan Boxing. Uh, a couple questions for you, real quick. Sure. Um, how do you prepare for this fight coming up against Ryan Carlos Burke? No, we, uh, we definitely got some taller sparring partners. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, tough, durable guys. Um, a little bit bigger than me. They normally are campaigning at you know 140 and, and up. So that we uh, we could prepare for a strong, you know, durable Juan Carlos Burgos. Okay. Understand. Anything new that you did besides, um, you know? Um, well, as far as training, uh, we always, you know, train really hard. We get in good shape. Uh, this is the second camp with Alex Ariza in our in our gym in our corner, and um, he's done a really good job, you know. So I, I enjoy working with him. It's just, you know, all around, you know, he knows what he's doing, and we do our thing in boxing, and it works well. I know boxers tend to not want to like look past their like next opponent, but recently uh, 50 Cent and SMS Promotions, they've been kind of like throwing barbs your way, and I know your focus right now is on Juan Carlos Pocos, but any comments on those uh, Twitter like little jabs that he's been throwing at you in your camp? Well, he, he needs to create some kind of attention in one way or another. I mean, if he's not doing it in the ring, he's trying to do it in social media, and that's all right. I mean, if, if the fight does happen, you know, it'll be a great fight. Um, but he knows what to do to get the fight, you know. you got to get the promoters to agree to, to a fight and, and sign the contract. I mean, he could say all he wants, you know, on, on TV or radio stations or whatever, social media, but that's not going to help him get the fight. Talk to the right man. Thank you for your time. Jeff with Ryan by Ryan Boxing. Uh, your thoughts on the matchup coming up Saturday night? Uh, how do you think uh, Burgos will have to uh, get into Nicky Garcia's defense? Well, you know, uh, this is an important fight for Garcia. Uh, many of us regard him as one of the uh, top young fighters in the game. And the question is uh, whether he can perform on the uh, big stage and uh, use it as a uh, launching pad to, to bigger stuff. But Burgos is a tough guy, he's a naturally bigger guy, and you never know when a uh, smaller guy moves up and uh, he's gone too, too far too fast. <laughs> you mentioned launching pad. Uh, recently there's been a uh, bar strong between SMS and uh, Garcia's camp. What are your thoughts on those? Uh, I'm sorry, SMS mean? SMS, uh, 50 Cent's um, boxing promotional company. Um, between Gamboa and Garcia, there's been uh, words on Twitter between Garcia, Gamboa. Well, listen, if, if Garcia comes through this fight, Gamboa would be a challenging an opponent next, so I'm, that's what this is part of. And uh, and the, and the biggest stage, what's part of it is uh, maybe one of them uh, comes through uh, as an opponent for Pacquiao. Last but not least, I just want your thoughts on the Cold War between Top Rank and Golden Boy Promotions. What do you think would, do you think it would be better this year, or is it going to be the same or same? You know, this is not a new thing. Uh, Top Rank and Don King had this kind of battle before, and when a fight comes along that is uh, in their mutual self-interest, they'll make it, just as King and Aram were able to get together. Um, so I assume that if something comes up that's uh, really big, that they'll be able to uh, get through it. In the meantime, um, the first year of this uh, battle for supremacy uh, turned out to pretty, be a pretty good year in boxing because it's a competitive factor between the promoters and the networks and they're trying to outdo each other and for the fan, that's a good thing. When there are fights that come into focus that can't be made, like Pacquiao and Mayweather, then it's not so good. Mm -hmm. Thank you for your time. Yeah. Thanks a lot.